Okay, so part five in the gig so far. I have mounted the fuel filter on the top. I have started cutting in the uh, area that the shifting linkage is for the Mitsubishi gearbox is going to be going into from the body. So that's set up. I have converted the vehicle from a cable clutch setup. It's currently still on there. I just cut down to a hydraulically set up. Now that master cylinder is off a Toyota 4Y Hilux. It's like a 85 model, 88, something close to that. And I had a couple of brake lines hanging around that I've just made up for the point because uh, they are really expensive to make. Um, so I'm just going to have all those ready and set up so that they'll go straight down inside there. Uh, I'll show you what the other linkage looks like. Oh, and I just moved the um, uh, heater tap just up a little bit too, uh, so it's all out of the way. Just on that bolt where the old, I uh, just moved it up one bolt, yep. And as you can see on the inside here, just mounted it rather crudely through there and just drilled a hole through the bottom of the pedal. That way it's still going to work. I've got to make it so it you know, uh, sits there a little bit better, but you know, I'll have to weld up a couple of stops on the side of this so it won't just be smashing the little limits of that master cylinder every time it pushes in and out. So that'll work quite nicely, I think, as far as the clutch system works. And I pulled... <clears throat> and I pulled the flywheel off to go get machined up, and I've got to change the sprigger bearing as well, which happens to sit inside of the flywheel instead of the crank itself, which is interesting, I haven't seen one of them before. And I'll put the new mounts on the side of this engine, and about the only last thing that I have to sort out before I mount this is what I'm going to do with this oil filter because this oil filter here as it sits is right in line with this so as soon as it sits there even if I do get it to clear just a little bit when the engine starts and stops it's going to shake around and hit that so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do yet but I know I've got to change it to a power steering box so I'll get a Suzuki Vitara uh, gearbox to put inside there and try and rig up some kind of uh, TC power pump or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, yeah, so we'll get that sitting on there. I'll just have to remove that linkage for the moment, um, or even just leave the fuel filter off for the moment. I don't know if I can get a remote oil filter. Is that possible? Maybe I can do something with this so that I can put a dummy over the top of that so it just flows and put a remote oil filter with these oil lines. I suppose that might work. No reason why it wouldn't. I wonder if I can make something so it unbolts. Because there's only one, two, three, four there. Maybe I can make something so I can move that completely out of the way. Now that I think of it, that might just work. I don't know. Because it does have that... Uh, remote oil uh, cooler cooler core that sits up the front of the vehicle might have to make something hmm thoughts just a few more thoughts not 100% sure yet but it should be interesting